Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting limited edition Games Wednesday, and today we are here for another limited edition limited run from Limited Run Games, and the post office was very nice to accordion this for me. Now, I may be mistaken, y'all know because you've already seen the uh, title screen or title <laughs> thumbnail and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my collector's edition of Giga, Alt, Giga Wreckers Alt, which I don't know if you may remember, but I have already done a video on this game because this is the one where the collector's edition came out while I was on vacation, and I had managed to actually order it, but then like a month later when the open order of the regular game was about to close, I thought, oh man, I forgot and never got around to ordering that game. So I ordered the regular edition, which we've already opened and we've already played, and we'll continue the play, the let's play, from where we left off. That also being said, I probably won't actually open the game itself out of this one, I'll just show off the older version, unless there's something desperately different. I really didn't mean to get both versions, but it is what it is, and I don't mind, and the guys at Limited Run, everybody over there is so awesome that if they get a little extra of my money, that's fine. They've provided me enough entertainment in life, they deserve it. <laughs> Plus, Doug needs more Dragon Ball. All right, so it is definitely Giga Wrecker Alt. And we can just get rid of all this stuff, I suppose. And we got a silver foil card. I'm pretty sure they still do the silver foil versus gold foil cards. So that's cool. And let's see, what do we wanna do here? I tell you what, hold on one second. I'm gonna readjust the camera. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna open up Giga Wrecker Alt, uh, Alt Record, whatever. Uh, this should be pretty cool. I don't exactly remember what is going to be in this one, collector's edition wise. It doesn't feel like it's going to be a massive version, but we already got a pretty nice little box going on here. From Game Freak. Nice art on the back. Hopefully I can remember how this game actually works. Pretty, pretty well. It's only been maybe a month since we actually played it, so that's not too bad. Alright, so let's get this plastic off and we'll take another look around and we'll see what we have in here. Oh, okay, it's got a slip case. Interesting. Thought it was all one piece, but it's not. And they do make plastic protectors for a lot of these now. Ooh. Smexy. All right, well, first and foremost, slip cover without the plastic. I mean, you know what the red on the side looks like and all that. Set that to the side, and now you can see we have the Silver Foil Game Freak box. Oh, my. Just had a little bit more depth in my voice right now. I thought I'd use it. I do like that spine quite a bit more though, to be honest. Although, you know, it's going on my Nintendo shelf, so I need that Nintendo Red, but that is a gorgeous design on the spine. It even rhymes. A gorgeous design on the spine that rhymes. It almost rhymes completely. Now we try to get this open without bending the corners too much, so we very gently get a little knife with a dull end, put a little pressure on the flap in the corner, and that is usually a pretty easy way to open these things without bending out corners, which I'm always a little bit nervous about. Because I don't collect for value, but I do like to keep my stuff in as good a condition as possible. Oh, there's a steel book. Oh man, I totally forgot that there was a steel book. Yes. And uh, oh, okay, so it is the same cover. So I don't know if they had alternate covers because if they do, they try to give you uh, differing covers. Even though I didn't get these in the same order, so that may be why. If that's the case, we'll take a more of a look at that in a minute. I'm gonna pull this to the side. We're gonna get us a poster here. This camera situation, it's like so off, it's shifted off, it feels weird. Oh, the refrigerator finally shuts up. And we get a full CD soundtrack, that's awesome. It's in an actual full-on jewel case. We'll definitely be checking that out as well. But before we move on, I guess we should go ahead and take a look at this poster. Because uh, it's gonna be substantially sized, it looks like. And I'm not good with posters. I don't have room to put them anywhere. I don't want to deal with unfolding them, but if it's your thing, it's your thing. I don't mind them. It's pretty cool. It's pretty much just the box art on that side, but it is reversible. Ooh, quite attractive on this side. And again, I just can't really get the whole thing in one shot. But it is what it is. And it is pretty. Okay, cool. It's actually really nice as far as these double-sided posters goes. That's one of the better ones, I think, that I've seen in a while, so. Okay, now, we're gonna save the steelbook and the CD for after the gameplay. But let's take a quick look at the game. So, yeah, this is, uh, they feel about the same weight, so this instruction booklet, everything should be the same. But I'll show you what it looks like with the shrink wrap on. 
And of course this is limited run games 33. And now you can see it with the shrink wrap off, so it's a little less reflective. And I know if you've seen the other video, I'm sorry, we're gonna go through certain details here again. And hopefully I'll remember to put a link to the original video. You can even see I have my original card, which is the exact same card, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> but it is what it is, which is apparently my phrase in this video. I've said that like eight times already, probably. And here's what the inside looks like, which is pretty nice. And the cartridge. Do a quick little fly through of this. Of course, if you really want to see it, I'm sure I did a more in-depth one in the other video, but I don't want to shortchange this one in case you just decided to wait. But there's a lot of great artwork going on here. This game's pretty beautiful, and I do seem to recall starting to get into it and quite enjoying it. So that's a good thing. It's always a good thing to enjoy your games. I've definitely, now that I've been playing a lot more, I've definitely had some games that I've not quite enjoyed. <laughs> I've definitely had some games I've enjoyed and then frustrate me into not enjoying them and then I beat the frustration and then I really enjoy it. So, you know, welcome to the world of gaming, I guess. <laughs> it's a good time if you let it. Pretty much any time is whatever you let it be, to be honest, so. You know, make up your mind on what you want and let it happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm having my coffee. I'm shooting this video way earlier than I would normally shoot a video. So maybe my brain just ain't at full butts potential <laughs> so uh sorry about that all right well anyways we're gonna come back we're gonna take a look at the soundtrack in this steel book but for now let's play the game okay so in the middle of that unboxing now we're gonna play a little giga record alt and we're gonna pick up from where i left off in the other video as i've explained and i did re-watch that video last night so i can kind of remember what i'm doing i just gotta re-get used to the controls uh, unless there's a new update nope all right <laughs> so we'll do this for about 20 minutes and then I'll probably play another 20 minutes or so for my Patreon channel, which may or may not be free. I've said this a bunch now, but you never know if you're new here or not. So I gotta say it again, I do have a Patreon channel. I put up a lot of content for free over there, a lot more gameplay, some movie commentaries, things like that, occasional vlog. And uh, even the stuff is not, that's not for free, you can get to for as little as a dollar a month if you wanna be a Patreon peep. And Rising Star Games, Game Freak. Um, but yeah, no, this was a, I'm glad I get to start this a little bit deeper into the game, too, because re-watching my Let's Play from the past, most of that was story. And I'll try and do similar voices to kind of continue it, since this is a continuation. But uh, we should be mostly into gameplay now, which is good. Because, you know, that's the fun part of games, is the gameplay. Though, don't get me wrong, I love story. I do pref I, Story is more my thing than the gameplay. And that's a little bit loud, so let me tweak that down just a bit. So that way we can, uh, there we go. All right, what do you need me to do? Press any button. Start game? You are gonna continue, right? Wait, save data zero. Hopefully that's okay. It's got something to load apparently. Phew. Like, I don't wanna sit here and do that. That's like 20 minutes of cutscenes again. <laughs> the load screens are kinda long here. Not too bad, though. We've had worse. Okay, good. Yes, it did get me from my save point. Let me see if I can, uh, just real quick, did we get, uh, da -da -da. let's see what's in options, see if we can see the controls. Music, ba da ba da ba da ba Uh, no. All right, well, let me just jump around. So that jumps. That doesn't do much. That fires. Oh, that grabs my stuff. Okay, those buttons do pretty much the same. So I assume we want more stuff. Oh, more stuff. Oh, I'm leaving, I'm leaving some of the stuff on the other side, I see. I keep seeing these sparkly blue things flying everywhere. Do you know what they are? Those are nanocrystals. They're essentially crystallized inert nanomachines. I use them to make your new body, so collecting them should enable us to power up your abilities even further. Ah, a cyborg able to maintain and upgrade itself? Somehow, my brilliance still manages to amaze me. All right, Senku, Jesus. Uh-huh, well, whatever. I guess it can't hurt to collect a few. Senku, I want your ramen! Now we do things here. Oh, we do that. 
And then we get everything back. Oh, car. Wait. Hup. Hup. Hup can do it. Hup. Hup, love D. <laughs> uh, we've almost finished. Whatchamacallit now. Uh, Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. Yeah. We'll be finishing Saturday. Why do I keep losing bits and not getting... Be good! Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Have you noticed how the walls and pillars break and turn into debris? If you're savvy about it, you'll turn them into stepping stones. That will help you progress further in your exploration. In other words, destruction can sometimes beget progress. Ha! <laughs> Sometimes I sound like a wise man without even trying. Ugh, please. So, can I, I can use debris to help me reach stuff. Got it. What if I mess up and break something I shouldn't have? That's where convergence points come in handy. Convergence what? See, that spot surrounded by the pink glowing particles? It's called a convergence point. It has a highly irregular distribution of something we call... Tachyon particles, particles that can distort space and time. Using your ability to oscillate electromagnetic waves in the tachyon field, you can incite a phenomenon called a tachyon burst. This will allow you to travel back in time. Wait, travel back in time? You're telling me I can travel in time now? Oh, I have to push the left stick up, and that'll just reset to its initial state. Okay. I can work with that. <laughs> Sorry, Mary sent me a message. Um, so what do I gotta do to start things then? Ah! But you know what? I got it pretty perfect, so... Wait. Oh, I have to jump on it, maybe? Can I... Oh! Can't... Well, that's unfortunate. So maybe I need to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that much! Damn, damn damage. Nope. All right, we got a tachyon on this beast. Oh, but it gives you a load screen. That's unfortunate. How unfortunate for you, sir. All right, hey. No, it took all my stuff, though. Wait, what? Well, can I tachyon back to get my stuff? What the crap? How am I supposed to, what? Oh, that is some bull poop. Oh, geez, what was that? Hey, now. I guess I've got to build some stuff back up. All right. <coughs> Did that do the trick? Is that enough? Ugh. No, stop getting smaller. Why would you get smaller? Ugh. Nope, I do not like this. What? That was not a good choice either. <laughs> All right, I guess I need to set it into three pieces. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But stupid. Because now I have to load screen again. And now I have to go back here to even get some stuff to blast with. Oh, I, how could I forget that that's there? <laughs> Definitely sounds anime. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Let's... I mean, like, in theory that should work, but I can't actually run up it. Oh, I can! Why didn't that work before? That's so weird. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. I meant to do that. What does this do again? Warning. Tachyon generation zone. Due to the unstable nature of the tachyons, unauthorized use of electromagnetic wave emitting devices is strictly prohibited. Okay. Guess I need to get up to the, uh... oh. Oh, crap. Hmm. But I've got this so perfect, I don't really want, oof. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. We got this. 
I know what I'm doing. I'm good at games. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying not to break that. Let's get some more of that so we can get some more stuff happening here. Break all this down. Something tells me I need it. Groovy. No tachyon regeneration for me. Because I am awesome. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I am. It's not a total lie. Oh, well, I'm glad I collected all that stuff that I don't actually need. Do we have a save point around here? Okay, I can't get up there right now. Can I get on top of the elevator? Nope. Elevator go up the hole. All right, what do we got? Hmm, what's this say? Nano lift? What's that when it's at home? What? It's a transport design device built to use liquid nano machine technology. Works sort of like an elevator. The neck, the, the, the nano machines will respond to the electromagnetic waves of your recall ability and surge out of the base, lifting you higher. What are you, maybe 150 pounds? Yeah, shouldn't be a problem for one of these things. Uh, excuse you? There's no way I weigh anywhere close to 150 pounds. Ha 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 Haven't tried weighing yourself since I added the metal arm, have you? No, no, I, I guess not. All right. So what do I do? Oh. Oh. Okay. Just wasn't ready for it. No! Poop. <laughs> Nice! Look at me being awesome. Yeah. Oh, poop. I didn't mean to do that, though. Oh, that's a heck of a jump. I'm gonna have to... Wait, where's... I need stuff to... Yeah. I broke stuff. Why is it not giving me stuff to throw with the thing? Do I need to throw things at the stuff? Nope. Oh, I took that machine right out, though. Did you see that? That was cool. Be good. Hey, Doc. What's up? <laughs> I, I get that I can recall more debris to make my ball of junk bigger, but what's the point in lugging something like that around? Not one point, but two. First, a larger mass allows you to attack from a greater distance. As for the second, you'll find out soon enough. <sighs> I'm not sure I like the sound of that. I don't know if I should actually destroy all that. Yeah. Ah. Do I do I want to go up there? Maybe. Nope. I mean I do, but ah, get the angle right. There we. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Screw it. No one needs this crap anyways. I just want to make sure I don't use the <laughs> tachyon field by mistake. All right, now can I actually, uh-oh. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need that tachyon field. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Because I'm gonna need to build a way up that, which I don't know if I really like the play mechanics that much on this one. Somehow. Oh, that works. That was kind of perfect, quite honestly. Got him. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I need to get up to that computer. So I'm betting maybe if I hit here. It seems like it's almost... Oh. It's almost giving me a, a clue. Ah, oh, nope. Nope, I think I screwed up. Uh, maybe, maybe that helps, actually. I think that, I think I can make that work. Oh wait, I know what I need to do. 
I just needed to rip off a little bit of it. And then I can, oh, what? She can't get up there? Oh, she can make that jump. I've watched her make bigger jumps than that. Don't tell me I missed it by that much and I'm gonna have to tacky on. Yeah, that's exactly what's happened here, son. That's dumb. Fine. 20 minutes later for the load screen. <laughs> the music's too soothing, too. I don't like it. Where even am I? Oh, I'm all the way over there and I gotta... Give me all the stuffs, all the things. All right, now I still am pretty sure I need to hit it kind of in the yellow there. Just try to do it a little more perfectly like that. Excellent. I was gonna say, if she couldn't make that jump, we got problems. Elevator open. And now, let's make my ball bigger, even though I don't think it transfers to the elevator with me. All right, good enough. Ooh. Yeah, I think I am wasting my time doing that. We're about to find out. It looks like it wouldn't even fit in that elevator. I need the music to be a little more like up though. This is just, I mean, I like the music. It's just, it's too chill for this. Yeah, it's wasting my time doing that poop. Well, that's a, pa a, pa a Padme, a Padma. That's a Padma class Rubit. Robot. Robot. Everybody else says robot right. That's a Padma class robot. It comes equipped with a rather annoying shock absorber. No, I said robot for everybody. Shock absorber. This is going to get ugly. A what? See that red round thing on its head? It protects the robot from incoming damage. Wait, so what does that mean? Are you saying I won't be able to damage it at all? Don't start freaking out. Nothing's invincible. There's only so much incoming damage a shock absorber can handle. As long as you have a mass of debris that's larger than the absorber, you should be able to destroy it. Remember how I said there was a second advantage to carrying more debris around with you? <laughs> this would be advantage number two. So all I've got to do is smash it with a bigger ball of debris? Ha! Piece of cake. I'm going to teach these glorified toaster ovens how to feel emotions, starting with fear. I like that attitude. But how exactly am I going to get stuff? Oh, that works. That was too easy. I was going to say, I thought I was going to joke that it's about time for more text reading now. Jesus, so much text. Hmm, I think it's about time. Hey kid, you want to hear a fun fact? Huh? A what now? Fun fact! Your ability to manipulate nanomachines can be put to another interesting use. This better not get sexual. What do you mean? I call it arms reconstruction and manipulation. It is sexual crap. Or arm for short. It allows you to deconstruct and reassemble debris fragments along with the nanomachines in them to create weapons or tools. If you can learn a few uses for your arm ability, I'm sure they'll come in handy for combat. Or just plain getting out of here. So, can I make a weapon right now? Nope. You can only make things if you know their structure, inside and out, down to the minutest detail. Not sure that's a word. Uh, great. I guess I'm out of luck then. Not quite. Look around you. What better place to find instructions on how to build stuff than all these workshops and warehouses? If you can find a terminal containing the right blueprint data, you can plug right in and install it directly to your brain. Install? To my brain? Alright, let me play the goddamn game with so much text. Are you kidding me? I walked like five feet. Ah, you may have already noticed, but I tinkered around with your optic nerves a little. You should be able to tell whether your debris ball is big enough to destroy a shock absorber based on the aura surrounding it. A red aura means your attacks will be ineffective. Make sure it's blue before trying to bust its bolts. I can't decide if I'm happy about how convenient that sounds or annoyed that you think my optic nerves are a plaything. 
Okay, all right. Let's start with the ones down here. Oh, I lost a bunch of stuff. Let's go back and get it. Be good. Be good. Is she Irish? Is that what it is? Nope. We got this. Team Venture. Is that stuff breakable? Nope. Did I leave stuff behind? It's hard to tell what debris is good debris and what debris is not. Hmm, looks like this terminal contains data for some kind of blueprint. Go take a look. All right, let's see. Installing nanoblock blueprint. Installation complete. Whoa, I know Kung Fu. Looks like the installation's complete. Uh, it's like everything is flashing. Nice. It looks like your ARM protocol has been upgraded to allow you to construct nanoblocks. Gee, amazing. What's a nanoblock? It's debris compressed into a dense cube. It'll come in handy if you ever need something to stand on. L button, nanoblock. Form a cube from accumulated debris fragments. Okay, that will come in handy. They're gonna have me try it too, aren't they? I just want more fragments. And I know she can't make that. So let's L. Oh! Oh, it uses my entire fragment, though. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, but you can reassemble and disassemble. Oh, nice. Okay, I am a fan of that. <clears throat> no. I lost some, though. Fine. I, I was going to say, I bet it's time for more dialogue. Oh, before I forget. Let me tell you about a handy feature called the nano map. Oh my God, really? Just, just let me play a game. It works like a radar, making an approximate scan of your surroundings. So like LiDAR. By transmitting weak radio waves to nano machines in the air. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. It really does. I'm seriously bad at directions. That it is. Why not fire it up so I can give you a crash course? Okay, let's see. Come on. This red area shows your current position. Whoa, this place is huge. Hmm, I can see door icons showing me the areas I came from before, but the places I haven't been to yet are completely blank. Don't we have any data on them? What do you think I sent you out there for? Field work is the basis of all good research. Once you pass through a doorway or inspect anything of interest, like a locked door or any equipment that looks important, like a locked, oh, uh, an icon will be added to your nano map. I see. So if I find a door I can't open or a machine I can't use, I should probably take a look at it so I can find my way back to it later. I'd better remember to inspect anything that looks interesting. Sure, you do your thing. You can access the nano map from the pause menu by pressing the plus button or activating it directly by pressing the negative button. I have plus and negative buttons? Yeah, so. Map, and they aren't kidding, this place is huge. <gasps> Morty. Okay. Oh, that beer is uh, coming out now. Oh, and then I hit B to get out, all right. Okay, well, let's see if we can get like five more feet before we have to do a thing again. I sense more talking, but you know what? I think we've got a save point. What is this? Hmm, why, this is remarkable. What a sounding technology. It appears to be some kind of teleportation device. Once a person is registered to its database, they can warp to it directly, no matter where they may be. Wow, so I can warp to it from anywhere? You'll be doing a lot of coming and going for my research. <laughs> Man, we really don't know where you'll need to be. Using devices like this will save you a lot of time and trouble. The more of them you find, the easier things will be. Huh, that does sound useful. Hmm, since it works like a signpost of sorts, let's call it a beacon. A K. 
Kevin Beacon. <laughs> I am going to save and I'm going to wrap it up. Save your progress. Yeah, which one is... Which one is... I, I guess the... Okay, okay. Usually the brighter one, but I guess the bigger one. Saving data, please do not turn off the power. Save complete. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this here. We're gonna go back to the unboxing, but if you wanna see me play like another 20 minutes of this, oh God. <sighs> if you want another 20 minutes of these annoying voices, <laughs> jump on over to my Patreon and uh, check it out there. There's a link in the description below, along with my friend codes and all that stuff for all the consoles and everything. So check out my descriptions. All right, back to the unboxing. Okay, so I know I probably had some fun with that, but did I get frustrated? Who knows? You'll have to tell me. But now we're going to take a quick look at the soundtrack, and we'll save the best for last with that gorgeous steelbook. And of course, I have not taken the plastic off of this yet, uh, which we will do here in just a moment. And of course, give you a better look at everything once we do that. Let me just find a good way in here. Got the flaps down here. Well, I thought I had the flaps. Can't quite. There we go. Got some flaps. Spin that out and start to tear it. Yeah, cool. I actually heard an adult, well, an adult the other day in FYE laugh, like they still make CDs, ha ha ha. I'm like, yeah, you're, you know, that's how you keep music before the digital services completely make it disappear. Not to mention there is a movement back towards physical media because again, it's nice to actually have some ownership of your materials. Okay, that is a gorgeous insert, by the way. And it is just a single flap insert, nothing in there, no booklet. I like the art on the CD. And if I recall, the music was pretty good. Nice little jewel tray artwork in there as well. Let me linger on that just a little bit longer in case you actually wanted to read all those. I feel like I kind of jumped past it. So that's awesome. This is my kind of uh, collector's edition. You get the game, you get the soundtrack, you get a steel book. You get a poster, eh, but uh, these are like the things I like most. Throw in a pen or a keychain, and this is like pitch perfect for my tastes. <laughs> I mean, it's great as is. I'm not knocking it. I was just, you know, I'm very happy with what it is. That is gorgeous. Nice and shiny. Get the nice side there. Oh, I like the simplicity of the back. Yeah, I love the steel books. Ooh, the art on the inside. I mean, they're hard to show off, but that is really, really attractive. Kind of like Mary. See, I was gonna say me, and I thought, I can't even say me. That's just, that's, no one would believe it. All right, so there we go. We finally have done the collector's edition of Limited Run Games release number 33, Giga Wrecker Alt, and I quite enjoy it. But now I wanna know, what do you all think? Have you gotten this game in any version? You can always grab it digitally in the eShop. Have you played this game? What do you think of it? Are you enjoying it? What kind of games would you like to see Limited Run put out in the future? Definitely let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go play some more games and open up some more stuff. And I'll see you all later. Later.